We gone, we gone, re. Yeah. Hey, the sky ain't the limit. Get up and get it. Your moves gon' decide whether you shoot up or blow it. Rich. We gone, we gone, up. Oh, wow. Take an elbow sandwich as I get to the rim. Mm. Now to the amazing night at FedEx Forum. Admit it, you were jealous of anyone who got to see the historic night in person. Tonight, Avery Braxton is here after talking to a couple of people who watched who watched Jaw play all the time. Avery? Yeah, you're definitely right, Richard. I was jealous, and we're used to jaw dropping moments from John Morant, but his latest few set new milestones for the Grizzlies. A franchise record 52 points, including that crazy buzzer beater with less than a second left. I got a chance to ask what those witnessing those moments meant to people who were in the building. Molly Morrison and her dad had front row seats to a Grizzlies night like no other. It's a regular season Monday night game. Second of all, it's not the same in that we're actively up rooting against the other team and we're anxious and we're nervous. It's literally just like euphoria and excitement. Morrison runs the Made in Memphis Grizzlies Twitter account and also has a large Twitter following herself. But she says her dad is the real Grizzlies fan. He's the reason that I fell in love with the Grizzlies in the first place. So. This man, I mean, he literally would spend all of his money on the Grizzlies. <laughs> they were there to see John ja Morant drop everybody's jaw with a ridiculous dunk and a buzzer beater to end the first half. He hasn't, he's had a lot of missed dunks that had that same level. That to me was his best, just most explosive dunk by far. He finally got the big one. I mean, we've seen Ja dunk on seven footers before. And he, he's told Rob Fisher, I, I'm not afraid of anybody. Pete Pranica has been on hand every night for 18 seasons as the play-by-play -play announcer for the Grizzlies. Monday's highlights were some of the best plays he's ever seen. But to make that shot in that moment with four tenths of a second, all you can do is catch and shoot. And he squares himself and he shoots while he's in midair. I, I said it was insanity. And I, I, I mean, I, I stand by that description. <laughs> Morant is the first Grizzly to drop 50 points on his way to 52 Monday night. It was a moment he shared with the whole arena. You no, know, it was for the city, like 50 for the city. The bench was all standing up, hugging each other. It was like cool because obviously everyone's on their feet and they know, okay, next basket is 50. So it was kind of like we were waiting for that moment. And it had social media buzzing. Even the great Allen Iverson showed love, posting a picture of Jaws jersey draped over AI's MVP trophy. And I still think that probably the closest corollary to any retired player might be Allen Iverson. That never say die attitude, that willingness to attack anybody regardless of size. While Iverson will always be beloved in Philadelphia, Morrison believes Morant wants to leave his own legacy right here in Memphis. And she'll be watching right by her dad's side. It's really, really special for a city like Memphis to have a guy like that who's not only that incredible, but who once again loves this city and embraces it. Well, Morrison and AI are just a few of thousands of people that were tweeting all the crazy moments from last night. Rudy, uh, social media was more like jaw media, am I right? You got that 100% right now. Avery told you about the local love jaw is getting out there, but now we're going to put you on notice to the national need to talk about the Grizzlies. Sports Center made a checklist of jaw's accomplishments from last night's game. Trey Young agreed. He says jaw going stupid right now. And Trey Lance wants jaw to confess. He wrote, just admit that you a superhero, bro. We already know. And Antonio Gibson tweeted, got to come see this man play in person. Walking highlight reel in Memphis. And a sentimental moment after the game. Ja giving his history-making jersey to his close friend, Devontae Pack. Very thoughtful there. All right. Now, Ja is not done yet. We still have to make it to the playoffs. So we're waiting to see what tricks Ja plans to pull out of his bag in Thursday's game against the Celtics. We'll all be there to catch it, right?